hey beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel today so in today's video we're going to be making this draped crisscross neckline okay it's the crisscross area of this dress is draped it's not actually like you know the normal ones this one is draped so this is what it looks like and the center front was cut in two not on fold as you can see that joining at the center and of course the drapes and also the back part of it so if that is what you want to learn how to draft and make then keep watching this video to the very end a quick disclaimer for modesty purpose i will advise you wear a body comp polo before wearing this on top of it so let's head straight to the pattern drafting okay now as you can see i closed up the neckline of my basic bodies okay and i have my basic dart side bars that are with that because my basic body is in full so i'll go ahead to take my ruler now and from this very particular part of my shoulder i actually removed half an inch from my basic shoulder i went ahead to remove half an inch from my basic shoulder that's for my center front i marked 2.5 inches like so you can use three inches if you don't want it to be all that hooky but 2.5 inches is going to give you like the shirt kind of neckline so if you don't want that you can use three inches so on that very line i'm going to be keeping my ruler slanted this way and i'll go ahead to draw in the line like so please you want to take note that the pattern drafting is the most essential and important part of it if you understand the pattern drafting then you are going to sew the dress effortlessly and not just sewing this style you'll be able to sew other similar designs so please concentrate on the pattern drafting aspect of it so I've, I've gone ahead to draw in the second one like so and now the next thing i'm going to do of course is to use my scissors and cut it out so if you're a plus size you want to contour especially the neckline and the armhole area if you're a plus size you want to contour so it does not gap i'm really sorry i didn't contour it here because i'm not a plus size but if you're a plus size, please, you have to contour. If you don't know what contour guide patterns are, you drop a comment in the comment section and I will link you to a video that will explain the contour guide patterns to you. Please, if you're a plus size, be sure you contour because you're cutting out. So be sure you contour so it lays flat, it lays nice, nice on you, sorry. Like there's no area that is gapping. And not just for the plus size, even if you're not a plus size, you can still contour if you want that very close fit but for the sake of this tutorial i didn't contour in fact i don't even know why i didn't contour here i think i was in the haste while i was making this but if you're my size you can still make your slide easier if you're a size 6 size 8 it will go well but i think from size 10 upwards you have to contour so i'm gonna have to mark shoulder and of course this side is my center front so i don't get confused so the next thing we'll do now is to open up our darts and close it up So I also go ahead to cut out my side bust that I'll cut it open and of course close it up. So I'm gonna have to close up all the darts. If you if you want, if you notice you find out that I'm trying to figure out where my center front is now. So please label, okay. So now I've figured it out and this is the way it should be. Then we'll go ahead to slash and spread so we can get that draped effect at the crisscross area. So I went ahead to draw in my drip lines like so. If you notice, I initially went in by drawing this line first from that very point where the two darts met. And then I added some additional drip lines. Okay, I just used these two. You can use as many as possible. So long as you get it right, they will all come out beautiful and nice. So I just used these two. And of course, we are going ahead. Now you want to notice that before you cut 
these draped lines this very pattern should be your lining this very particular pattern should be your lining so before you cut your drapes cut it out cut your lining first before you start slashing and spreading please cut your lining first because this very original pattern should be your lining so I haven't said that I went ahead to start cutting open my lines and this is what it actually looks like so for the spread at the shoulder part is optional you can use how many inches you want but do not go overboard just use something that is going to be very visible that you made a pleat do not go overboard okay so i'll go ahead to get a fresh pattern paper and put this underneath so i can spread it out quite very well and now see what i'm doing you want to make sure that the center front is straight please you want to make sure that you place you ever heard of green line have you ever heard of green line you want to make sure that the green line of the center front is in alignment the way it should be it's not slanting the green line if it's straight let it be straight it's not in a bias form so please let your center line be straight as you're placing it on the fresh pattern paper so you can form your drapes so i haven't done that now i went ahead to start forming the pleats before cutting out if you're used to coming to my channel you should get used to me doing this now if you've been following me if you're a subscriber of this channel and you've been watching videos you get used to me doing this by now so i'm basically trying to return this pattern to its original while also forming the pleats right so this is what i'm doing right now And I want to say, there are some designs you cannot make without pattern drafting. There is no way. Even if you try to find your way around, the fit is not going to be there. Obviously, the fit will not be there. There are some designs you cannot make without pattern drafting. So please, let's bear that in mind. Don't try to run away from pattern drafting. It's a very... In fact, it's the most important aspect of tailoring. Please, it's the most important aspect of it. It's the basics. If you don't draft pattern, what else do you want to do? So please, please, do not run away. Some of you have left comments like, ah, he's giving headache. I don't understand what you're doing. I've not even watched the video. I'm already tired. Concentrate. Take your time. Get your writing materials. If you don't have your fabric yet, write down. Draw sketch. Things you will understand. It might not be perfect. Sketches that you will understand that, okay, this is what this means. And then make sure you practice what you've written down. And I trust you. And trust me, you will enjoy the process. When you learn pattern drafting, you enjoy tailoring. So I'm going to have to do this. And then I'll go ahead to cut off the excesses. Okay. Go ahead now to cut out the excesses. So here is what it looks like with the drapes. Okay, this is what the finished look is going to look like. So I'm going to open it up the way we are going to be cutting it on our fabric, which is like this. So I'll go ahead to cut this, remember, in two pieces. But before then, I'll show you the back pattern. So the back pattern is actually a very simple one, very, very simple one. There are so many designs you can create with this back pattern. But for the sake of this tutorial, I just made one design. There are a lot of varieties of designs for the back pattern of this very particular crisscross neckline. So many things you can do with the back pattern. In fact, if you want to see the modest version of this crisscross neckline, like it's going to be having a sleeve, drop a comment in the comment section. I will consider making a video on that. So I initially made sure my shoulder line 
is the same thing with the front i also removed the half inch and also made it 2.5 inches so the shoulder of the back and front can align i had to cut out also my that okay now we are going to be determining how the back is going to look like so i went from the tip of my shoulder all the way down and from this one i wrote the line also down like so like i said there are so many things you can do to the back there are so many designs for the back so i'm going to have to cut out like this So this is what our back pattern is going to look like, okay? And I went ahead to cut on my fabric. So having cut on the fabric, okay, of course you're going to be sewing like the way I explained during the pattern drafting. You just have to form your pleats, mark your notches, form your pleats, and you join your shoulder of the back to the shoulder of the front. Then you stitch up your side seams and include impute your zipper as simple as that once you've drafted your pattern it's going to help you and give you a guide to the finishing once your pattern is there as you're sewing you're looking at your pattern you don't have any problem with the sewing like i said pattern drafting is, is the basics if you don't get it right even the sewing you will not get it right so once you've drafted your pattern and it's there you want to make sure that as you're sewing, you're going back to your pattern to retrace your steps until you get very used to it. So after closing up the drapes at the shoulder with your notches that you have marked, making sure everything is in line, you sew up your side, center front, sorry. Then you make sure that you sew the back shoulder and the front shoulder together. You sew up the back side seam and the front side seam together, like you're shaping it the way you shape your normal top so after that you impute your zipper at the back and that is it like so the way i'm explaining now you want to sew put this together okay and join your back shoulder and front shoulder together and stitch up the side seam and you come up with your result so if you want to see the modest version of it with shoulder sleeve drop a comment in the comment section if the number of people that want to see it is actually high I'll consider making a video on that. But for now, thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.